Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So in the last video we covered Ohm's law and so if you haven't seen that, go back and watch that one. We went through all of this and then in this video we were supposed to be going through basic circuit laws but I realized that one thing, one topic that's probably quite important to cover and even good for me to revise myself is combining resistors which we're going to use throughout all the rest of these theorems anyways. So let's just, I suppose we can add this in here as an extra star right let's do combining resistors again so like i said in the last two videos i'm not teaching this so please don't bite my head off i'm just revising so if it's the first time you you're you're going through this this might be a bit too fast for you watch the video if it is you can leave a question below or you can jump onto another video and have a look at the, uh, another video on the topic as well so I, i'm put, i'm on youtube daily anyway so if you leave a video i'll respond very quickly all right so let's get started Combining resistors. Also, if my handwriting sucks, apologies. It just sucks. What can I do? All right, so you should know that there's a difference between series and parallel resistors. If you don't, this might be a bit too advanced for you, but just in a nutshell, you've got resistor, 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 resistor. That'll be R1, R2, R3, and R4. So those four resistors are in do, 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 series, right? Right. And then these here, if you had... Now, when it comes to drawing resistors, one thing to note is sometimes I draw it with these squares. Sometimes I draw it with the squigglies. I might draw it like that. I might draw it like that. It doesn't make a difference. I think the difference is like American and UK. I don't know. Who cares, really? It doesn't make a difference. All right. So if you had... Probably like that a bit. Just... Probably coming down there. If you had a wire coming down there and then you had R1, R2, R3, R4. So obviously these resistors are in parallel, right? So you've got parallel. I also can't spell as well. So if that's not how you spell parallel, I'm, I get confused. I'm pretty sure that is parallel. And this is series, right? Okay, so the main thing to know with these two is that if you've got some electrons flying down here, right? they got the electrons, the little electricity balls as i like to think of them go through this resistor this resistor this resistor and this resistor so they go through all four of these resistors so these resistors all have the same current if i shot a bunch of electricity balls into down here in this pipe or whatever then some would go this way some would go this way some would go this way and some would go that way right so the electricity gets split or the current gets split in parallel while in series it goes through all the same ones just something to bear in mind right okay so let's combine some resistors let's do a series example first so we're going to do a series example cool okay so let's say we've got um let's go with a nine volt battery oops nine four all right we've got a nine volt battery here and then what was just the one two three or how many should we do? Let's do five. Five. And come back to here. So we've got this circuit here. So we've got R1, R2, R3, R4, and R5. Okay. Let's give them a value each. So let's go 20 ohms. 20 ohms. All right. That's the ohm symbol, right? Or my own rubbish version of it. So 20 ohms. Let's go 20 ohms again. Let's go 20 ohms again, and then let's go 10 for a spanner in works. All right? Okay. So if we wanted to combine all of these resistors, this whole thing would just be equal to same 9 volt battery. So that's that 94 again now. I'm losing my mind. And then one resistor here. And what would that value be? Well, you just add with, with series, you just add them all up. So to do it the long way, um, this one being RT. T stand for T standing for total. So R T is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4 plus R5. Right? That means that R T is equal to 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. Right? So R T is equal to 90 ohms. So you'd say that. These two circuits, circuit one and circuit two, they're equivalent. So 
one thing you can know here now, you can work out the current fairly easily from there. I'm not going to do it. You do it. And I mean, how would you know if you're correct? Good point, right? Okay. Pause it and then I'll do it. Right. So V is equal to IR, right? So 9 volts is equal to I times 90 ohms, right? So then you would then do, let me give myself more space here. You would then do 9 volts divided by 90 ohms is equal to the current, which means that I is equal to 9 divided by 90. Bring up our calculator. 9 divided by 90 is equal to 0 0.1. So I is equal to 0 0.1 amp. Cool. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so that's series. Let's do a parallel example now. So with parallel, there's kind of two ways to think about it. We'll start off with the simpler way, which is two resistor parallel. So let's do two resistor parallel. I always get a bit stressed when I'm writing the word parallel. I kind of think I kind of think to write two L's as being at the end. Don't know why. All right, so there's a bit of um. Okay, well let's draw the circuit first. So we've got a battery here, and then we've got a resistor one. Right, and we've got resistor two. So we've got R one and R two. Let's give R one a value of five ohms and give R2 value of 10 ohms. And we don't really need a, a, a voltage, but let's go five volts, doesn't matter. Okay. So when you want to work out what two resistors in parallel equate to when you combine them together, you don't just add them. What you do is you take, so RT, meaning R total, is equal to the product divided by the sum. What that means is the product of R1 and R2 divided by the sum of R1 and R2. So RT is equal to R1 times R2, all divided by R1 plus R2. So if we use our example, substitute in, R1 is 5 ohms, um, not plus, sorry, 5 ohms times 10 ohms, all of that divided by 5 plus 10. So that gives you 5 times 10 is equal to 50, 5 plus 10 is 15. And then 50 divided by 15 is equal to 3.33 carry. And that's right, right? I'm just check on my calculator. Right? And that's right. 50. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's right. Also, 3.33. Yep. Cool. So that means that the total resistance RT here for this circuit, an equivalent of this circuit would be to do 5 volts. Right? And 3.33 ohms. So these two circuit, these two circuits are the same. All right. So that's two resistors in parallel. Now let's do a uh, two plus resistor in parallel. Resistors parallel, meaning a circuit with two or more um, resistors in parallel. All right. So let's assume that we've got the same thing. So R1, R2, and we'll do 3 for now. So this method applies to 2, 3, 4, 5, up to whatever, 1,000, 10,000, doesn't So we've got R1, R2, and R3. Let's go 5 ohms, uh, let's go 7 ohms, and let's go 12 ohms. Give some dodgy numbers. 5 ohms, 7 ohms, and 12 ohms. All right, so... The trick to doing, we'll give this a five volt battery as well, doesn't it? Okay, so the trick to doing resistors in parallel that are more than two, so two or more, you can do it for two as well, but you know, if you're gonna do two, it's better to do it like this. But if you're doing it for two or more, then the trick is to say, um, one over R total is equal to one over R1 plus one over R2 plus I don't give myself enough space, do I? Sorry. There we go. So plus 1 over R3 plus 1 over Rn. So however many resistors you have, you can just keep on doing that. 
So if you had 100 resistors, it would be R1 over R2 is equal to R1 over uh, 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 plus 1 over R4, R5, R6, all the way on to R100 or 1000, yeah? So what we can do here, so we can say 1 over RT is equal to 1 over, and then it was 5, wasn't it? 5, yeah? Plus 1 over 7 plus 1 over 12. I think that was the values, yeah? 5, 7, and 12. And then so that would give us 1 over RT is equal to, and then let's use our calculator. So we've got 1 in brackets, 1 over 5 plus, I didn't actually need the bracket, 1 over 5 plus 1 over 7 plus 1 over 12 is equal to 0 0.426 okay that means, so one over r total is equal to 0 0.426 that means that r total is just the inverse of 0 0.426 so you can just times it by oops oh dear the equals and then we can do the answer to the power of minus one so r total is equal to 2.34. We can do 2.35. Go round it up. Cool. So this whole circuit here, the equivalent of it is 5 volts and 2.35 ohms. Cool. And that's it. So yeah, so that that's how you combine resistors. So three things to remember here, really. So you obviously got to understand how resistors are in series versus parallel. And then series, you just add them all together. doesn't matter how many there are. In parallel, if there's two, you do the product divided by the sum. And if there's two or more, so for example, you could do, this still works, right? So you could do one over RT is equal to one over R1 plus one over R2. That's fine. So that's why I'm saying two or more that still works as well it's just that the general way that i was taught to do it was when you had two do product divided by the sum when you have two or more so let's say three or more etc resistors in parallel then you do r one over rt is equal to one over r1 plus one over r2 plus one over r3 and continuing on cool all right guys so in the next video we will cover um the basic circuit laws which are kvl and kcl I'll see you guys in that video. Peace.